You are not lazy. Repeat after me. I am not lazy. A lot of times, guys, we are taking a surface issue, a surface feeling, and we're generalizing it in regards to our whole being. So I need you to let yourself know that you are not lazy. More than likely, you're probably tired. More than likely, you're probably doing all the things so much to where when you stop doing all the things, you feel like you're not productive. You're not lazy. And what you have to do is really look at what's on your plate. I guarantee you that you have more things on your plate than, than two people usually carries on their plate. So instead of assuming that you're lazy, look at your plate. And I guarantee you that you're tired. When you're tired, you will think that you are inefficient in a certain area because you're tired and you might not be doing the things that you want to do. But baby, 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 let me tell you, you are not lazy. I remember a couple years ago, I went to my therapist, right? And my chief complaint, that's the, the clinical term that therapists use, my chief complaint was I don't feel productive I don't feel like I'm pulling my weight right she said Lashana let me uh paint me a picture of what your day looks like y'all tell me why <laughs> when I mapped out my schedule for the day she said oh, I feel exhausted just by listening to what you just shared with me and once I seen it in black and white, I was like, damn. Yes, yeah, sis, you, you doing a lot. So instead of assuming you're lazy, I want you to look at your plate. And more than likely, you are an overachiever. You are a high performer. You may even be a perfectionist. And your brain, your body, your being is used to... And so when you pause or when you delegate or when you share the wealth, your mind and your body is like, wait a minute, we don't have nothing to do. Wait a minute. Why are you resting? Wait a minute. And that's where that alert goes up like, do, do, do. That does not mean you're lazy. All that means is that you're providing more capacity for yourself. And this is what I would like to offer you. I want to give you a round of applause. So it's time to assess what's on your plate. Is it too much? Is it things that, mm, that don't need to be there and you need to give it to somebody else? Are they the wrong things? Have you been given things that were never yours and you never got a chance to give them back I don't know if I'm who I'm talking to if I'm talking to you say me that's the download that I just got that is what I want to share with you all if you're here for the first time I'm Lashana West your business therapist and leadership coach I'm the one you come to when you need that neutral party that sounding board that vent space but also that accountability so you could lean in and do the thing that you truly want to do. A lot of times, imposter syndrome, worry, doubt, fear, scarcity, shrinking, comparison. All of those things get in the way of you being your full authentic self. And I just want to tell you that authenticity is a non-negotiable. That's not my quote. That is from uh, Caroline Wonga, who is the chief editor of Essence authenticity is a non-negotiable right but how can you be authentic if in your mind you're thinking you're not doing enough and I just want to tell you you're more than likely doing too much if this resonated comment the word breakthrough and you could book a complimentary clarity call with me starting in April the the complimentary clarity calls will no longer be complimentary there will be a small investment um, my time is getting a little bit more, um, how do I say this, sacred to where I need to make sure that who I'm connecting with, um, they are in alignment. And I feel like, you know, sometimes when you just welcome everybody, then you get everybody, right? 
but I want to connect with those who are truly, truly, truly in alignment, who are ready to put themselves first, and who are ready to get to the next level. I am in beautiful Atlanta. Uh, God is good. I have an opportunity to do some cool things, which now takes me uh, from working 24-7 from my home. I get to get out in these streets. We all stay. Okay, let me quit. <laughs> you guys have an amazing day. I'll talk soon.